the guy's there. The, the guy's there, he's waiting, he's like pacing back and forth, and he's staring at me, we make eye contact, and my first thought is, oh shit. I'm Vanessa Gonzalez, and this is the time I got heckled by Indiana Jones. Sometimes as a comedian, you have to perform at a coffee shop slash bar slash vegan burger place in Austin, Texas. This place was made out of Lincoln Logs, I think. They had a big taxidermied bear when you walk in. He had real big sunglasses on because he's cool. I know sometimes they teach camping and they teach you how to tie knots and cut wood. I don't, I don't know what camping is. So I go outside on the patio where the stage is. It's a packed house, my little brother's there. I start my set, I'm feeling good. And as I'm telling my first joke, this super drunk, old white dude just stumbles in front of me to sit in the front row. He looks like Indiana Jones, like he's wearing the hat and everything. He may have been between homes or a professor of archaeology, I'm not gonna judge. And he starts waving at me. What does he want? Like, does he need me to go on a crusade with him? I don't know. So I finally acknowledge him. He stands up and walks up to me and gets super close to my face, which was kind of scary, but at the same time, he did smell like barbecue, which was kind of nice. My little brother is also in the front row and he's freaking out. He wants to like jump up and help me, but I also know that he has crippling stage fright, so he's not gonna do that. And the rest of the audience is all freaked out and panicked, like, she got this, she's okay, right? She's, she's good. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take charge of this situation. And I looked that old guy in the face and I was like, sir, get the fuck out. And he did, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> He got, he got mad and he like stumbled out, like mumbling, all pissed off. The rest of my set was kind of awkward, but I made it through. And we go to the parking lot and the guy's there. The, the guy's there, he's waiting, he's like pacing back and forth and he's staring at me. We make eye contact and my first thought is, oh shit, he wants to kill me. I don't know how important this crusade is that he wants me to go on with him, but my brother, he like takes this moment to redeem himself, I guess. And he pumps out his chest and he's like, I got this, get in my car, I'm calling the cops. So we get in his car and he calls the cops and he's on the phone with them and they're like, can you please describe this man? And he just goes, um, have you seen Indiana Jones? <laughs>